18-year-old Ladyville resident Otto Palma was no saint, and indeed, he was in police custody on Wednesday because a 13-year-old minor claims that he raped her on Sunday. He was never charged for that rape. Instead, just before 10, his body was carried out of the Ladyville station and transported to the morgue. His mother got a call to come to the station at around 8 that night. When I reached the station, I asked, her, I said, good night. Then nobody answered, so I said, what happened? They just let me go in the office, that the room that I have there. So I got and I sit down there like a whole half, half an hour. And my phone just keep on ring. Ever that two years on dead, that two years on dead, ever that two years on People on the street know it before me. When I had a ma, reach a station, I still don't know nothing. They went and they don't do everything and must they don't clean up after they don't brutalize her, whatever they do with her. Then the next time we I call to identify my son. When I can identify my son, I said, This is your son. I say yes. I find my son if he white shirt, wrap wrong in it, but is the um the rickid. Tie far back where I know that none of my son kill himself. Crimes investigation personnel responded to a call from the Ladyville police station and immediately started processing the scene in the cell block, where it is claimed Palma had hung himself. The way her eye find her. It a hook up on the, catch up the, the um bar and the, the bar so. with the white shirt tie like this and so and he ne up on the bar and they the not they far out of the far the bar and he face the turn so if he so may hang for himself I expect yeah. that the tie would have done a front tie if Otto hang yeah. himself. Otto not crazy, Otto not have no brain damage, no nothing, so Otto that never think for kill himself and another the first time Otto may go in the jail. This may have been his third, his fourth time. He uh, had uh, the T-shirt tied to the metal bar in the cell block, which is about uh, six and a half feet off the floor. And his body was, uh, he had tied the T-shirt to his neck and he was suspended about one foot from the floor. You are a seasoned investigator. Is there anything in that scenario which would, would strike you? as a little odd or can you see exactly how something like that would happen? Like, um, uh, we have the scene of crime technician that uh, processes the scene and yes there is a lower bar within the cell block where uh, one could place their feet and gain access to the upper part of the bar and then you could release your foot and, and you would uh, be left suspending from that metal bar. While the police sit rep is calling Palmer's death a suicide, CIB personnel aren't so quick to close the case. Because the young man died in police custody, there will be an intensive investigation. A thorough investigation is being conducted into this matter. We have a person from the professional standards branch as well as, as the crimes investigation branch. And at the conclusion of that investigation, I'll, whatever information needs to be followed up, it will be followed up. Uh, as far as I know, the mother was allowed uh, shortly after she arrived at the station to view the body as it was in the cell block. Romero says that there was nothing in Palma's behavior to indicate that he would have committed suicide. Palma had been charged previously for rape in 2013 and also in 2014. Mike Rodon for News 5.